it's safe to say that dating has changed pretty drastically over the years because back in the day, like you'd meet a girl at a carnival, you'd spend the summer together, her dad would die in a war, and then you'd be there to comfort her. But it's 2017, so that's over. We can now find potential life partners with the swipe of a finger while simultaneously taking the worst dump of our life. And there's a bunch of dating apps you can use, but Tinder specifically is home to some of the greatest people on earth. Let's meet them. Yoshi, 30. Let's sauce in the tub together, you dig? Splishy splashy, giggle giggle. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and ignore this little haiku at the end of this bio, but let's sauce together in the tub, you dig? is probably the greatest pickup line of all time. I, I don't even know what it means, but I'm, I'm ready to fucking sauce in this tub. I will admit his hair needs work and his nipples are too far apart, and his face looks like the Mona Lisa, but, there is something romantic about almost drowning yourself for a good Tinder picture. That shows me you have dedication and passion, and I like that. I'm swiping right, Yoshi. Yoshi, if you're out there, I'm looking for you, bud. All right, let's get a beer. Let's, let's sauce a beer, or whatever. I don't know how to, I'm still learning how to use that phrase. Amy, 23. My third photo is me wearing 21 shirts and I also do anal. Two very different skill sets, but two special skills nonetheless. I see what she was trying to do here. She was trying to show her range, you know, because a lot of people could put on 21 shirts. A lot of people can do anal, but can those people do both? I don't know. I know that Amy can. I like her style. I'm swiping right here. Chris, 31, just looking for someone to smash piss holes with. Well, there goes any shot of me making money off this video, huh? New YouTube rules. You can't just say shit like piss holes, smashing piss holes. So thanks a lot, Chris. On the bright side, though, at least she's honest. She's not gonna beat around the bush. She wants to smash a piss hole. She wants an even exchange of piss hole smashing to occur sometime in the near future. And you know what? I think she's gonna get it. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm ready for that kind of violence right now. You know what I mean? Because there's a difference between having sex and smashing a piss hole. Which, by the way, I've never heard of until right now. This has to be some kind of British term or something. But I'm just not ready for that kind of violence. So I'm gonna swipe left. But good luck on your journey. David, 23. Yeah, David or 18 year old me with Photoshop tattoos. Hi, AKA Joe. Hold on. <laughs> AKA Joe, what kind of strategy does this catfish have? Are you expecting people to believe that your name is David, but people call you Joe? That doesn't, that's not even close. I am here to teach shallow girls a lesson. I hate it when I get compared to the Jonas Brothers, but I like their music. I love my dog, so if you have a dog too, that's a plus. I mean, the last part's true. If you have a dog, that's definitely a plus. I don't know where the rest of this shit came from. I'm going to swipe left. Emily, 22, new to Tinder. Just got out of a serious relationship because my boyfriend was using banana peels to have sex. Wish I could say I was kidding. I'm sorry, did you just say that your boyfriend was using banana peels to have sex? Did you just, what does that mean? Was he like wrapping the banana peels around his, like, was he was shoving them inside of you? What happened? And obviously she broke up with him because of this banana thing, like otherwise she wouldn't be writing it in her Tinder profile. So this was a big thing in their relationship. So how did that convo go? Was she just like, listen, I, I can't do this banana peel thing anymore. Like, I tried to get used to the smell and the texture. I just don't like it. And then he was like, I'm not gonna stop. I love the banana peels. And that's how they broke it. Like, I need to talk to these people. I'm swiping right just so I can have this conversation. I have so many questions. Amber, 20, the one with the tits. You know, I appreciate you, Amber. And it's not just because you have really nice tits. That's one reason. But the other reason is because you understand the struggle. This is Tinder. This isn't Where's Waldo. Some people post pictures, there's 20 people in the picture. Are you kidding? Am I supposed to go on a wild goose chase right now and figure out which one of these sorority girls you are? Not only do you all look the same in this picture, but you're all wearing the same fucking shirt. Give me some direction here. Throw me a bone, please. So thank you, Amber. Thank you and your giant tits swipe right. Whitney, 19. I'm the kind of girl you take home to your mama's house. Five foot two, a whopping 111 pounds. I can open a beer bottle with my butt cheeks. Well. 
I mean, how do you not swipe right after hearing shit like that? This girl must have the strongest set of butt cheeks on this side of the equator if she could open a beer bottle with them. A talent like that does not get ignored, it gets rewarded. Swipe right. Well, that's all for this week's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like, leave a dis leave a subscribe. What am I saying? Subscribe, leave a like. Whatever. These videos come out every Tuesday, but if you want more videos, head on over to my second channel, youtube.com slash videos. Also, go subscribe to my podcast. It's called The Basement Yard. It's on iTunes and SoundCloud every Monday. And that is all, and I'll see you guys next week. <gasps>